Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode here on Pasty Chef's Game. We've got a treat for you today. Yes, we do. So, uh, have you guys heard of Dead or Alive Extreme Beach Volleyball? Have you heard of Dead or Alive Extreme Beach Volleyball 3? A game that was not available in the US, in uh, Europe, in most countries, but can be purchased on the Hong Kong PlayStation Store so you can play it in English. Yes, they actually released an English version of it that allowed you to actually play the game uh, without having to worry about menu screens. To be honest, it's one of those games you wouldn't really need to memorize menus that much. It's just the fact you can have dialogues back and forth with the characters. But they've added a PSVR function into the game, and I am so excited to check it out. <laughs> I already know what it is. It's, it's essentially, it's um, a Gravura mode that allows you to actually play um, Dead or Alive Extreme Beach Volleyball 3 or just look at the girls from Extreme Beach Volleyball 3 and take photographs in a really awkward and um, it's like a lewd manner in a lot of ways. It's, it's, it's like adult video kind of like um, fil uh, film shoots, the kind of like the way they have them. So they would actually be doing like a still photography of the actresses while they're actually hanging out on the beach in uh, sleep in swimwear and all that kind of thing. So uh, let's take a look. <laughs> let's take a look at it. And um, obviously, I'm going to be inside the headset. So hopefully, nobody walks in and fucks with me while we're playing this. But um, <laughs> this is the way it needs to be played. Okay, let's get ourselves wired up here. Hooked in. Oh god. Um. Yep. <laughs> reaching around, reaching around. Oh man, that's so weird to feel because I haven't worn this headset in a while. I forgot about the uh, the rubber uh, nose things on it. Ah. ah, there we go. Now I can breathe, I think. Mm. There we go. Right, so Dead or Alive Extreme Beach Volleyball. Hey! Extreme 3! Fortune! Right, um... VR Passport is now free. It's got a point up here. VR Passport is now free to all for all full game owners for a limited time. So if you actually buy Dead or Alive Extreme 3, uh, you get the VR Pass as an additional DLC content for absolutely free up until the end of August. Meanwhile, if you buy Dead or Alive or play the free to play version of Dead or Alive Extreme 3, which is also available, you can play this game completely free to play, but you have to unlock individual characters. You have to pay money for each one of those. You have to pay for the casino and whatever else. I just happened to pick it up cheap, uh, cheap ish during a sale a few months ago, so I'm glad to actually be messing around with it. So let's take a look at the VR Paradise. Uh, yeah, I completely forgot. Japanese controls. Oh, I might have to press circle for it. Oh, hey, check out the studio. Hey. Hopefully this is still recording because I can't actually check on the broadcast. Well, this is actually set up. Okay, yes, everything is all clear. I'm pretty sure everything's all clear. Whoa, okay. So, um, yeah, as you guys can see. Hey, Kasumi. Hey, Kasumi. <laughs> How's it going? Um, yeah, so basically the controls for this is VR Paradise Tutorial 1. Welcome to VR Paradise. Please, let's... First, let's take a look at the Zack sensor for a bit. Hold the controller in both hands. Uh, do you see the Zack sensor where the controller is? I like the fact that the shadow's there, and it actually follows my headline as well. Uh, as you see that controller, press the touchpad button. Boop! There we go, we're grand. In VR Paradise, you can see the girls from all kinds of angles. Press circle to change your position. Yep, so... <laughs> yeah! Hi. <laughs> yeah. That's what this is, man. That's all this is. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, that's actually kind of cool. I actually like the fact that I can look behind. You know, to get to look behind the curtain a little bit. But um, that's a bit that weirds me out, though. Is that um, I'll give her a teal. <laughs> yeah, but um, the character models don't have their hair modeled by the uh, game. Which is a little bit odd. But yes, you can see her from multiple angles, look around, have a good time, and then that's it. Open and closed. So that was the tutorial. That's how you explained to me what you can do with this game. Uh, VR. Yes. Oh no! Oh, oh god damn it. I literally just opened it back up again. <laughs> yes, I got it. Yes, I got it. We're okay. Okay, so Event Paradise. Um, haven't got that played through yet. Pictorial Paradise. I don't know. Oh, we do have Pictorial Paradise. So we can take photographs. Right, um, alright. So we have all of our characters we can play through here. Um, oh, virtual pictorials unlocked. So you have a number of ones to be able to play through. Alright, so Kasumi, I've already played through one vacation, but all the rest of them, like, that shows how much I've actually played this game. 
I thought I played more with Neo Tengu than I actually have with Kasumi. It's a bit odd. But um, yeah, we'll play back here. Um, they, they, so there's actually multiple videos you can play with them. I'm just going to take a look to see what ones are there. Take photographs of the girls making different poses. Uh, there's obviously nothing in there. Let's take a look at Photo Paradise and see what's in here. So there actually is like a um, booth that you can actually have them in. So poses, Photo Paradise, Photo Paradise, Photo Paradise, Photo Paradise of each one of the girls. So um, let's jump in and pick one of the characters to actually take a look at. <laughs> it feels weird to actually be playing this game. Oh god. Um, there we go. I was actually wondering why my levels were actually getting all over the place. So we pick her. We're going to go with Neo Tengu, is it? Oh no, that's Kokoro. I wanted Neo Tengu. And then you have a series of postcards that you actually have unlocked for each one of them, for each one of these. So postcard, basic knee band. So you have all of these poses for different kind of like looks. Half kneeling. Lying down. Uh, it's like some of these are actually. You just going like, right, right. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. So let's go prone. I think I think prone is going to be our choice for today. We'll go with that. We'll add that to film. And we'll do it in... Oh, you got actually got studios to do it in as well. So we'll do it in this Team Ninja studio. And we'll do it with the default... Oh, wow. <laughs> it's no tan. And... Swimsuit malfunction? What? I I'm sorry, guys. I'm actually like... I'm <laughs> for, much, for what the content actually is, my glasses are actually steaming up while playing this. And I was getting it really difficult to read anything that was on the screen. Um... <laughs> A sweaty nerd. A sweaty nerd example I'm actually going on right here. Alright, so I imagine that I'm not going to be able to see this quite so well without my glasses on me, but that'll be grand enough. I can see okay. Now I'll just steam up the actual, like, lens. I'm actually, I'm steaming up the lenses of the game now instead. Ah, uh, that's terrible. So, oh, excitement levels. Okay, so each person actually gets these individually. So, uh, yeah, yeah, stage will take the that one and well so many costumes body suits wow I can't believe you forgot that there actually has so much of the customizability in this which is so weird wetness assuming she's got like, glistening skin and then has like specific things for her hair this is weird okay can we just play this now so play film there we go so she actually goes from one pose to the other, and uh, the whole point is, wow, okay. So yeah, this is it. <laughs> You're in the studio. Oh wait, am I? Alright, I'm skipping through things there. Right, do you know what, actually, I'm making an absolute hash of this. So I think I might just quit out of this specifically. Um, there we go. and. Go back and just pick the videos ones that are actually already there because <laughs> I'm sitting there editing away at this and I have no idea what I'm actually doing other than the fact that I'm essentially know I'm looking at semi-nude girls uh, in VR and then this looks weird as hell and I'm not really massively comfortable with it. So, alright, uh, oh, these, I need to actually clean off the screen because <laughs> it, it feels horrible to actually be doing so but my face is actually getting sweaty wearing the headset while doing this. Because I'm actually feeling nervous playing this fucking uh, VR while being very self aware that I'm being recorded while watching it. Um, yeah, we'll go back and I'm sure there's actually. You can just pick one to watch. So, yeah, there we go. Play film. Play random. That sounds like a good idea. Play at random. So, yeah, that's what this is. Um, you can literally. Just sit back, relax, enjoy, look around you on the beach while uh, Kokoro, in this case, is sitting doing a little bit of reading. So yeah, and I imagine you just kind of snap stuff as you're playing, is the intention. You can just snap a couple of pictures, look around, just see the background, taking more snaps. Yeah. <laughs> That's all this is! Different characters in different poses in different positions, with different timelines, with different outfits. Um, yeah. 
Wow, I actually realize I'm in the pool. That's kind of cool. Splashy, 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 splashy. So yeah, what do you guys think? Is is this is this the future of VR? <laughs> is this what we um, bought our VR headsets for? I imagine there is. Whoa. <laughs> uh, there is a particular market for this. Um, so people are really excited to play it. But um, this is a volleyball game. By the way, this is a beach volleyball game. Hi. Right, so, um, yeah, I'm taking this off now. <laughs> I am done. I am done. I am done. Yeah, no more. No more of that. <laughs> no more. No more of the VR while looking at that. Um, yeah, this has been Extreme Beach Volleyball 3. Looking at uh, the functionality of the PSVR with this game. Now, obviously, there's something else I want to play that has a very similar tone to this. But I am so, I'm so freaking out to the fact that I'm actually sweaty looking at that. Um, there's uh, other games that are... No, I do not want the VR. Turn off. Go away. Next. Out of the screen. Uh, there's another game that I would like to play with the PSVR headset that is actually designed around a similar enough idea, but actually has interactivity. Uh, that'll be Summer Lessons. It's uh, essentially a stretch goal to play it because I, I'm not going to spend... I can't, like, but if, I, if you guys want to see me playing um, Summer Lessons from beginning to end, now with subtitles now available on the Hong Kong store, also you will never, ever fucking see that game released in Europe or America. Um, if you get on the Hong Kong account, you can buy that game and check it out as it's a, a functional use. Something that actually might, a little weird, be a, a conscientious kind of like example of immersion with a headset and earphones on while you're playing with a VR headset. That, that's what Summer Lessons would be. Essentially, that, that world of what I was just in for uh, for the, the ludity of it in its own way. Uh, the cheesecake. I'm, ludity is probably a wrong way to describe it. Cheesecake would be the best way to describe it. Um, that was, uh, take that world and take that kind of immersion and then apply that to a... Uh, imagine a visual novel or a, a simple social drama where you're playing a character who's in a situation reacting to people that are around you, being able to shake your head, nod, and actually give reactions to whatever the person's asking you. Um, that that I, I want to play that. I want to get into playing that. This was not exciting for me in any way you perform as much as my sweat may actually say otherwise. But um, yeah, this is a kind of another example. The Dead or Alive Extreme 3 is available on the Hong Kong store. There's interesting things it can do in the VR, and there's other games of a similar nature on the uh, PS4 that you can check out, which are much more interactive and much more entertaining. I, I've literally got none else to say other than the fact this was just there so I could just show some butts. That, that, that's what this was. This was a butts video. I hope you enjoyed your butts. This is, a, this is our, our every six monthly dose of butts. Dead or Alive Extreme 3 reminds us of butts, and butts are useful to have. So yeah, um... Hope you enjoyed that. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to see more PSVR content, make sure to hit the subscribe button and come back anytime and check it out. Uh, there's a lot of stuff here on the channel that I've actually done with VR and I hope to do so much more in the future. I hope this is, doesn't become a tchotchke that is abandoned by Sony in its future. I think it's actually something that would be very interesting for a very particular series of games. Uh, we've got plenty of ones to be coming up very soon to check out as well. But of course, like I said, butts, butts always sell. So if you enjoyed this, make sure to hit the subscribe button up there. If you're not a subscriber, that's absolutely fine and completely understand. Not a lot of people actually do the whole subscribing thing. Uh, <laughs> for all the millions and billions who watch YouTube, not everybody subscribes and the ones who do subscribe don't even show up again. But well, if you do want to see more stuff from me and stuff that I make, then please, 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 please remember the name past teach of skin all you have to do is type it into google it's easy to search for it's easy to find i am not trying to hide in any manner or form make sure just remember past teach of skin and if you're watching this on youtube boom there'll be a box up there for subscription there'll be a box up here that will actually show a playlist probably a playlist is going to have cheesecake like this on it more than likely the psvr though over the far side will be a recent episode and right here will be a video just for you based on your youtube analytics all the things that you watch on youtube if it's on my channel and you search for stuff previously this will be the next video you should check out this will be the one that's actually of interest to you it's inside your niche and i hope you enjoy it and if you do enjoy it Thank you very much for sticking around. Thank you very much for watching all the stuff here on the channel. I feel like an idiot now. And I want to say thank you very much for watching. And I will see all you dudes in the next titty bar. I mean, uh, video. See you in the next video. Bye.